Hello and welcome to Small Gold Indian Silver Imports for the month of November 2017. Indian Silver Imports were steady in the month of November, basically flat year over year. However, imports were 346 tons. To put that in perspective, that's 11 and a half million ounces in just one month, and that's not a particularly good month for Indian silver imports on a comparative basis. So it was up 1% from the 319 tons in November 2016, and it was even down 46% from the 636 tons, or 20.4 million ounces, that were imported in October 2017. So year to date, Indian imports of silver are at 5,019 tons. That is 161,364,599 ounces in the first 11 months. That is a massive amount to put that in perspective. The U.S. Mint sold 18 million one ounce American Silver Eagle coins in the entire year of 2017. So when the books are closed, on Indian silver imports in 2017, I would imagine they would be 10 times the amount, or approximately 10 times the amount, of sales of American silver eagle coins. This will probably get to 180 million ounces. Let's take a look at some charts here. And we talked about this yesterday when we were looking at the uh, Indian gold imports. A lot of issues with gold, taxes, government clampdowns. Well, silver is definitely a second metal in India. It's not even close to having the desirability of gold. But Indians, middle class Indians, getting some money, you know, they'll buy jewelry. Uh, there's industrial use, just like there is everywhere else for silver in India. India is big on solar power. Indians also, unlike the West now, they still use silverware in the middle and upper middle class houses. They'll give that as a wedding gift. They'll have silver ornaments in their homes. So silver is more adornment, more ornamental, more used to silverware than in the West. Basically, the West buys silver bullion, and that's about it. And then it's used in industry. India, it's a little more part of the everyday life in jewelry and silverware and adornments and we do have silver jewelry in the united states but it's not as big of a deal also the number of people in india is much larger the middle class i believe however they characterize it is larger than the entire population of the united states i remember silver is cheap so there doesn't need to take much uh, to get a lot of silver demand going when you have a population that large and they want it so they'll give it as gifts so they'll, they'll buy it not so much for investment, but uh, there is there is a silver bullion investment market there as well. Now, if you look at the last year, you can see most of the months are at least 300 tons. So basically, they're bringing in at least 10, 15 million tons, a million ounces a month and sometimes 20, 30 million ounces. So it's a big deal. Lots of silver going into India. Here's how it looks on a monthly basis. I've been tracking it since August 2014. These are some big times, big years. 14 and 15, silver was really, really cheap. Even cheaper than it is now. And India was on a um, solar power construction boom. So couple that with cheap prices, lots of silver going into India. This is like we saw yesterday with gold right here, this area. Silver did spike in uh, 2016, got over to about $20 an ounce, and uh, so they kind of pulled back on their silver purchases, and then basically starting in 2017 again, they ratcheted up, up to about two-thirds, seven-eighths of where the record years were in 2014 and 15, much higher, twice as high as the late 2015-16 era. Let's take another look. Uh, an annual chart. So this is in tons, 5,119 ounces, uh, tons through November 2017. So we'll probably add three to six, seven hundred uh, more tons onto that. Would put it probably it should be 2008 if it does. Then you're looking at probably the fourth largest ever import year for silver in the last 20, 30 years. 
and that'll take them up to, as I mentioned, maybe 170, 180 million ounces, which is a staggering amount. We'll put that into perspective now. Let's take a look at... So China imported... I remember China has its own mining, so they're importing probably 120 million ounces a year. They imported about 63 million for the first half of the year. So you put together China, 120, and then you take uh, India's 170, 180, 200 million ounces. You're looking at over 300 million ounces just between these two countries, the demand for silver, and there's only about 850 million ounces of silver mined in a given year, in the last few years. So they are definitely using up a lot of silver in those two countries. Now, in, China did mention that they had a discovery about 3.2 billion ounces in Mongolia last week. That's not come online yet, and it won't all come online at once. They'll have to mine it, and chances are that silver won't end up in India, won't end up anywhere else. will probably just stay in the confines of China. So if you're interested in buying silver, please consider doing so through the Small Gold site at the affiliate links at BGSC, Golden Eagle Coins, SD Bullion, Money Metals Exchange. You click on the links on the Small Gold website or on the YouTube or on the BitChute. You go directly to those sites and you'll pay no more no less than if you visit them directly. But since they're affiliate links, if you do buy, not investment advice that you do, but if you do buy, Small Gold gets a small commission. That's how you can help the site out pay no more no less than if you visit them directly so compare pricing and shipping at those sites also please consider helping small gold out by sending a donation via bitcoin litecoin becoming a patron or even just sending a traditional paypal uh, donation now these other charts you can also see them on the small gold site this just gives you an example this is global silver mining production 2015 it's been about the same for the last three years about 150 to 850 to 880 million ounces but if you take into account what india takes up just 2015 they had 275 million ounces won't be that high this year but you can see in a couple of years india can just they could take up a third in a given year of global silver mining production on their demand and in a couple of years they basically have taken up more silver than the entire 1986 to 2017 American Silver Eagle production. So India is definitely a big silver consumer. They're known for their gold consumption, but they do give uh, the silver runners money there. Now, top 10 silver mining countries notice that uh, India is not in it. India has some domestic mining production. I don't even think it's in the top 20. It's small. They have basically no gold mining production. China, however, before the recent find of the 3.2 billion ounces of silver, that's what they claim they found, is the number three silver mining country, but that silver stays there. So basically, you got to get... India, this year, will take up the equivalent of what Mexico mines in a year. That would mean the rest of the world, and China, has to deal with Peru, Austria. You can see it goes down pretty quickly. So India is taking up basically, not that they get all their silver from Mexico, but if they did, you just cross that off the list. Now the rest of the world has to battle for scraps from Peru, Austria, Chile, Russia, Bolivia, Poland, United States, and Argentina. The rest of the world's not going to get much out of China. So you can see, and then China imports silver as well. So they're going to cut down, they're competing with the rest of the world for, from Peru, Australia, China, Russia, Bolivia, Poland, United States, and Argentina. Well, that about does it. Thank you very much for listening. Later, I think tomorrow we should have the Perth Mint Gold and the Perth Mint Silver. Then we have People's Bank of China, some surprising developments there in their gold reserves. We'll have the Shanghai Gold Exchange. And then I have something on gold-backed currencies and why you're not going to see them. Pretty much definitive proof why you won't see them. I wonder how I come up with that, but you will see that later in the week. Thanks for listening.